Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Now, as you all know, I've had this uh, Tesla Model Y 2021 since probably the end of May, and it is one of the very first cars that only have a, uh, that doesn't have a radar, only has cameras for the autopilot and FSD and all that kind of stuff. And I've done various tests with it. Today, we're gonna test fog. <laughs> Wait a long time to get fog. We finally have some fog here in uh, southern Ontario. So let's test it out. Uh, and to get my camera girl to point it right to the road, and uh, we're gonna engage autopilot right now. Now this isn't very very thick fog, but it's it's moderate. I, I would say this is moderate fog. And uh, we just want to see. We're just gonna be a quick video to see how it is in a fog. And um, these are like city streets, so the, you have the lights and everything. Maybe we'll get. Uh, an area where there's no city lights to see just how the, the light projection just from the headlights alone deal with the fog but um, as you can see if, if you look on the screen here as you can see the screen go uh, the, the blue lines aren't wavering at all like it would sometimes in the rain and stuff like that uh, it seems just fine like the, the cameras are picking up the road markings just perfectly fine and the fog doesn't seem to be affecting it at all so Let's take it to the next level. Let's take it to uh, some country roads where there's no city lights and it's just dark and it's just uh, fog, just nothing but fog. Okay, it's about half an hour later and you know what, I think the fog has gotten a little worse uh, compared to what it was a little while ago. So, you know, the distance, if I had to guesstimate, it's anywhere from about maybe 150 to 200 feet distance before you lose any kind of visuals with this fog. It's not pea soup fog. By the way, where did pea soup come from? The term pea soup fog. If you know, comment down below. I'm very curious where the term pea soup fog came from. I know I could Google it, but I want you guys to tell me instead. So we're gonna enter an area now where it's uh, no street lights. So just like I said, we're gonna go into some rural areas where country roads and stuff like that. And uh, we're gonna pick up the speeds and see what it's like. I was hoping that they'd be very light traffic, but it looks like Looks like we're gonna hit some serious traffic here. There, there's nowhere you can go in southern Ontario now where there's no traffic. <laughs> and the stopping distance, as you can see, hasn't changed either. The stopping distance is generally the same. Um, I don't notice any, any difference. This is the latest firmware, which is uh, 2021. Dot, I think 32. Dot, dot 21, I believe. And the following distance I have this one set to is four. So we're set to four. You can see down here in the bottom corner here. And um, we're doing pretty good. So light's green again. We've got this nice uh, 911 in front of us. I wish he would just take off so there'd be like no one in front of us, no one behind us. Well, I don't care about behind us, but just so we could get no traffic lights, no street lights, no other kind of lights around us. Uh, as you can see on the screen there, the, the green, the blue uh, parts of the screen, it's still showing solid blue lines, There's nothing wavering or no wiggly lines there. So, you know what? I think the cameras are working very well in the fog here. I mean, it's, uh, I don't see any difference um, compared to just regular driving uh, with, with in clear conditions or even in rain. I, I actually, I, I would say rain hampers the cameras more obviously because it's more of a physical thing onto the windshield and the lens and everything more so than, than the fog like i said this isn't super super fog and now we're back into street lights we're not into uh, country roads but you know what uh, i will find a, a place where we can go down i should have went down there yeah, yeah. there's some country roads down there uh, without any guaranteed no lights and, and no traffic too But yeah, uh, it's handling it very fine. Now, of course, I, years ago, when I had a foggy situation with my Model 3 that had a radar, it also handled it fine. And I did make a fog video and it was thicker fog than this, but it handled it quite fine. Uh, the fog was so thick that uh, I remember in that video, it was also in the nighttime. The Porsche in front of us right now, you wouldn't be able to even see it. Or you'd just be able to see the glow of a, of a red light. You wouldn't even know what it was. You'd think it was a cyber truck, just that solid line that's in front of us there. 
Okay, we're back in autopilot in a uh, on a country roll road that has no street lights. It's just one way traffic going either direction. So that's why you'll see you'll be blinded a little bit by the uh, cars coming towards us a little bit. But it's pretty thick fog here. Like once again, like I said, you can see the waves of the fog coming uh, onto the headlights as you drive. You can probably pick up the people that have like their high beams on or the the headlights that are misaligned. Uh, I can pick it up. I can see it definitely. I don't know if uh, you can make it out there on the camera. But everything's working fine. Uh, now we're coming out of the thick fog and now it's um, I guess we're getting a little higher elevation or something but the fog's sort of going away we're coming up to a few uh, uh, street lights with this traffic light and some cars up ahead but then they're going to go away again um, and it's going to get dark again with just a fog and the vehicle in front of us and the vehicle's coming ahead of us so in a, let's, let's wrap this up I think we've got enough in a nutshell uh, what have we learned here? We've learned that the camera-only base systems with the non-radar cars uh, handles fog on autopilot just fine. Uh, the cameras are, are detecting the road lines and everything just fine. With fog or a little bit of fog, different degrees, it seems to be not affected at all. Uh, we've learned that I don't know what pea soup is. and um, Well, I know what pea soup is. I don't know what pea soup fog is. So uh, That's your assignment. You guys got to <laughs> help me out. Let me know what pea soup fog is uh, without me having to go to Google. But if you want to see any more tests, folks, in any other conditions, I know um, since I got it back in May, people wanted to know what it was like in, uh, in snow. Well, heaven forbid snow I, I will eventually come here to Southern Ontario, hopefully later than sooner. But as soon as it comes uh, in any kind of uh, fashion, whether it's a little bit of snow or a lot of snow, I'll make a video. I'll, I'll, I'll get on it as fast as I can uh, to show you guys what the limitations are between the non-radar cars and the radar cars, if there is any. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one, folks. Take care. Bye-bye. Is this Oakville? No. There's going to be street lights.